So thanks very much for joining us today. Um, so for those who don't know me, Aaron Coggan, Head of Corporate Membership at Archery GB. Um, obviously, in this challenging times, what we want to do is try and uh, make sure that clubs have uh, every opportunity to look at funding, um, fundraising. Um, if you haven't seen it uh, and it's um, uh, suitable for your club, there is obviously emergency funding available through the likes of Sport England, Sport Wales, Sport Scotland, etc. Um, and uh, if you want to get that information, then uh, drop me a note and I'll make sure you, you see that. But one of the ways you can uh, raise some funds for your club is through um, these fundraising. And uh, Ben and Rasheen are, are with us today and they're going to run through a short presentation um, on how you can um, um, make the most of this wonderful scheme. Um, so I'm going to shut up and Ben has control. So if it all goes wrong, it's his fault. Um, <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> I'll put myself on mute and you guys uh, take it away. Cool. Thanks, thanks Aaron. Aaron. Um, so thanks for everybody for, for joining us um, today. Um, we're hoping that today can be quite interactive. So if there are any questions or anything, as, as Aaron said, please take a note of those. Or if it is a burning question about something um, you're seeing as, as we're talking through, um, please do drop it in the comments, um, the question and answers section, because we're, um, myself and Rochina are here to help you as much as we can. Um, obviously, it's a really tricky time um, for all sports clubs. Um, so um, we're just trying to help you as much as we can to use easy fundraising to do that. Um, we're going to show you a bit of a presentation and also the website that's live. So um, you can um, dip in and out of the website um, as we're doing this as well. You don't just have to listen to me. Um, so thanks very much. I will pass over to Roisin in a second and she can introduce herself as well. Um, but my name's Ben Harper. Um, I've worked in the um, sports development sector for uh, about 15 years now. Um, that makes me feel very old. Um, and I've worked um, across club development and I've um, had the pleasure of working with um, quite a few archery clubs across um, Shropshire, especially. Um, that's where I'm calling from today in Telford. Um, and I'm a stone's throw um, from Lillishall. So um, I've had the pleasure of being there for a great archery facility as well. I'm going to pass over to Roisin just to introduce yourself quickly. So virtually. <laughs> uh, hi guys, uh, so I am Roisin, I don't work in sports development particularly but I have been with Easy Fundraising for five years now uh, across a couple of different departments so I headed up their support function for a little while and now I work looking after our after school partners and our community groups so um, I can, I'm well placed to answer any questions that you might have uh, at the end as well. Thank you. Um, so today we'll be running through very quickly how it works um, and getting you up and going. Um, how to get people involved and how great clubs have used Easy Fundraising to um, do really well. And then obviously the best part today will be that question and answers with yourself as well. Um, so I have to apologise, or I shouldn't apologise, uh, for using a Shropshire um, archer, using Alison uh, Williamson, who's a bit of a local hero uh, in archery, especially as I know on these slides. So Easy Fundraising, if you weren't aware already, is the UK's biggest charity shopping fundraising site. Um, Roisin will go into a little bit of the details of how that works and what is a charity shop and fundraising site. Um, but Easy Fundraising are the biggest um, in the country and um, we're proud to say that we, we support um, 140,000, over 140,000 good causes uh, to be able to fundraise, um, which we're all passionate about helping um, clubs and good causes to um, make the most of their online shopping to um, receive donations, receive funding so that you guys can do the great stuff um, that you do. We've been able to help clubs uh, and causes raise over 31 million pounds. And you'll see on the front page of our website, we put that front and center and you can see that live um, tracking going up and up and up. So it's a lovely thing to see when you log in um, that there are a lot of people who are utilizing um, easy fundraising to do that. We're based in Staffordshire. Um, so we're usually based in Litchfield. Um, there's around a team of 70 of us in that office. Uh, when we can get back to those lovely offices, um, and we've also got a team in London, a uh, small team in London, who work really closely with the retail sector uh, to make sure that you get some really good donations. Um, Easy Fundraising has been going since 2005 and we're really well established now. The team there are excellent and hopefully you'll be able to, um, in your time um, raising with Easy Fundraising, get in touch with our coaches and obviously work a little bit closer with us as well. 
that I'm going to if this works. Um, I'm going to show you the website live. I'm going to pass over virtually to Roshi and she's going to talk you through a little bit of, of kind of how it works from a, a shop perspective, perspective and how it can help you generate some income. So we go. Okay, thanks very much. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is your logged in page so once you've uh, signed up your uh, archery club you automatically become what's known as the cause administrator but you and your supporters all see this same page so this is also a page that a normal supporter who signed up just to raise for your club would see as well so there's no difference uh, a little bit later on we might touch on there's an extra area as a, as a cause admin that you're able to manage uh, payments and um, uh, such things as logos and information if you want to and um, we can come to that in a little while but the the main thing about easy fundraising is that it is an opportunity for people to raise donations for you at no cost to them whatsoever no extra cost it's a free way of raising money and um, which is uh, it's good all of the time it's particularly good at the moment when everything is so stretched and everything is so uncertain easy fundraising is uh, they generate income by your supporters shopping with a retailer, the retailer pays a percentage of the purchase back to your good cause. If we want to do an actual transaction just for um, the sake of uh, showing you exactly how it works, I won't make you buy anything, Ben. <laughs> but just for argument's sake, if I, if I wanted to buy something from John Lewis, instead of going to John Lewis via Google or via any other uh, method, I go to John Lewis here via Easy Fundraising select it and this page will open to show me if there's a donation available what it is um, a little bit of information about the retailer if you wanted that and it is as simple as clicking the shop now button um, and that will take you out to John Lewis now when you're in this when you're in this retailer here your experience is exactly the same as had it been if you'd gone directly to John Lewis there's no difference at all, never any difference in um, experience. If you were already signed in, you would find yourself already signed in there when you got there. The only difference is John Lewis now know, thanks to those cookies that we're always accepting, that you came via easy fundraising and any purchase that you make, they will pay that promised donation back to the good cause you are supporting, which in this case will be your archery club. The, is everything out of stock? Everything's out of stock. <laughs> um, the, donation that goes back to you uh, goes automatically onto the account and is paid out to the club uh, quarterly automatically so supporters don't ever need to do anything other than just do their shopping they don't have to provide any extra information and um, once you've made your purchase that's it you're when you come out of there you should get a pop-up that says you visited john lewis there you go all working beautifully <laughs> And that is the end of the transaction. You don't need to do anything else. Once the purchase has been dispatched, usually is the is the point that you'll get a donation confirmation email to your email just to let you know that the purchase has been tracked uh, and it goes onto your account um, that there are over 4000 retailers to choose from. So you would it's very difficult to find something that you can't purchase on easy fundraising biggest things that make a big difference to groups like yours are if your supporters make purchases such as holidays, obviously they won't be doing that right at this moment, but uh, in the future, this, this time will end hopefully and we will go back to normal living and normal living entails people traveling on the train or having a family holiday. Those purchases can go through easy fundraising and also um, insurance purchases. So if you're if you're insuring your car or your home, it's very, very likely that you're going to do that in an online in an online world. You're going to go online and have a look at your insurance options. And there are really big donations to be had with insurance um, providers on easy fundraising. So we say even if even if supporters do just those two things, just book their holidays and their insurances through easy fundraising, they have the potential to generate great donations for your club. That's not to mention Amazon and eBay and all of the usual your your uh, groceries from Waitrose or um, 
clothing from Debenhams, all of those usual retailers that you might be buying things from regularly will also slowly build up into free funds for the club. So that is how Chrissy. it works. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, just no, a question ahead. from someone, um, uh, from Susan, asking if cookies, are cookies, um, what's the word? Um, mandatory, so, yeah. Yes, yes, it's got a great question. Thank you. It is. So if if you have something on on your computer that blocks cookies, it do, it does fox <laughs> the whole uh, the whole process because the it does uh, depend entirely on being able to track the purchase. Having said that, um, the detail that it tracks, um, and this is why it's a good question because it, it leads on to this information. It only the only detail it tracks is a an ID that links the supporter to the sale. So it's an ID, not an email address, and it tracks the value of that purchase. It doesn't track what the purchase was. Um, so the only information the retailer shares back to Easy Fundraising is. 1999 for instance and then the rate of the of the donation so 1.5 percent and then that is uh totaled up this end so but yes cookies need to be allowed um for the process to work you could the other option you could do is you can use mobile devices instead of a laptop um if you if you wanted to with a great app works on ios and on uh, android and you can use the um, app or you can use your browser on your mobile phone as well. Oh, and there it is. <laughs> oh, it's up, ben. <laughs> is that okay? Does that answer the question? Are we good? I think so. Sorry, I, was, I unmuted myself. I muted, so I was like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Susan said, yes, yeah, so all A okay. <laughs> That's good. Um, do you want me to touch on raise more, Ben? Um, yeah, you can do if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, this section here. This promote my cause section is a way of you sharing this information with your supporters. So it's great. This is great. We have it. We're all set up. You're registered. Your club. But what what you need is you need your community to to know about it, um, have an understanding of how it works, and and be on board for you. Um, so we this promote your cause area gives you lots and lots of tools to be able to get those supporters on board um, it is available to every single supporter so this this doesn't just sit with the person who registers the club if if you registered the club in your capacity as perhaps a treasurer because that's the sort of the role that you play but somebody else is in charge of promotion or fundraising or likes to take the lead in that area they will also have access to this all of these tools that are here so it's it's a way of sharing um uh, the, the um, ability to be able to get people on board and it not always sitting with that one that one person who do, has to do everything and everything is everything you could possibly want is here if there was anything that you wanted and it's not here then let us know and we will get it on here for you but in the main you've got uh uh, social media posts that you can share very easy it's just a case of copying posting out to Facebook these posts will auto link your cause your your club so you can see in these that Ben's club is um, highlighted here uh, or Ben's cause beg your pardon <laughs> causes and clubs causes and clubs um, but you your your archery club would feature there so you don't have to go back and find links or anything it's very very straightforward you can do it on social, Twitter, Facebook, whichever is your um, preferred area. You can do it on WhatsApp. Uh, if you've got a, a group of people in a WhatsApp group, it's a really nice way to share. There is, uh, There are posters and flyers, a sort of absolute old school paper copy of, of this sort of thing. Um, posters on the back of doors um, are, are good to sort of have a regular reminder. Um, and there's, there are even, if you if you wanted to, there's, there are even presentations. So you could even go so far as to, if you were having a club event and you wanted to actually dedicate five or ten minutes just to this, just to get uh, everybody um, un to understanding how it works, that it's an easy way that they can raise, um, then that presentation is really handy as well. So there's lots and lots of tools there. Um, the one thing I will do as well, Ben, if you don't mind, while I've while I've semi got control, 
Yeah. Is if you uh, you're the admin of this course, aren't you? I am. Yeah. If Ben, if if you just click on that your accounts and then click on manage your accounts, it's about three. Oh, oh, you might have to log in. Sorry. Just to show you what as as an admin you will see. Uh, if you just pop to account, Ben, on the top right, that's it, manage your account. In this settings section here, as an admin, you have this bottom section where it says cause settings. Now, a normal supporter doesn't have this, this area here. Uh, here, you can change your payment details if you need to. We can look at gift aid if that's applicable. You can change your cause information. So as you're raising for something in particular, as you breach your target or you're, you're or getting near, you can update that information. Um, you can change your image if you needed to. View your statements so you can keep a track of what's, got, what's been raised and come through. And you can also view your transaction summary so it shows you everything that's being raised at the moment. And now those, that that level of detail a normal supporter wouldn't see. They'd just have this top bit here. And that's it, I think. I think that's it for me. I think that probably covers it all off in the speediest fashion. Did I miss anything, Ben? Uh, no. Oh, hang on, sorry. I'm just getting an alert saying that I'm not sharing something. Um, no, no, I think that covers everything, um, everything in terms of the basics of, of that promote my course section. Um, I will go through um, a few of the behaviours of the, the good causes, but are there any questions at that point? I'll just open it up to anyone if they've got anything they want to ask now. One of my, one of my colleagues, Helen, had a question about um, renewing insurance. Can you can you do that through the site or is it only for new transactions? You can, so it is, it is very like, so from insurer to insurer it will differ, they'll all have their own um, terms and conditions and they are um, listed on their on their page so if you when you visit a retailer there's a if you if you pop to there you go pop to Aviva and um, there is a, a read terms and conditions uh, link there and it will have details of any exclusions but in an in a nutshell it is very likely that a renewal would not get a donation simply because the retailer already has you and there is an element of the reason easy fundraising it works is we are introducing people to the retailer so of course if they already have you their chances are that they won't uh, offer any kind of reward for us uh, uh, passing you through to them so often i'd say in most most cases a renewal for insurance won't attract a donation it would need to be a new policy but also having said that i find personally in this day and age that that people don't reward renewals anymore <laughs> like i always feel like i'm being a little bit ripped off when i get my renewal and i do invariably have a new policy these days so i, I would say if if you are going to go with a new policy and that's what is the best value for you, then do that via easy fundraising. But of course, if the renewal is the best value for you, then it's just not going to be a donation on that purchase this time. And I'm just having a quick look at these other questions as well. So we've got one from Declan. Yeah, is there a way you can show a live total raised on your website? Yep, yeah, you would see you would see it when you're logged in. So if you go to your page, Ben. Oh, where are you? So this, this is a I should explain. This is a brand new course for me, um, only because I've decided foolishly to try and ride a hundred miles <laughs> um, on my bike. Um, so I've I've set this as a, up as a course so that I can support Well Child in riding Ride London if it happens. Um, so this is where you would see um, as a course admin, you'd start to see a bit more of a breakdown of how you've um, started to raise um, for your club. And a little so, bit further, if you go a little bit further up to the main uh, page, this section here will tell oh, down a, a little bit. Well, there it is there. So you've raised is your your total is there. Oh, sorry, Ben. It needs to be that you need to click the button uh, further up. Sorry. Oh, where is the actual cause? There you go. If you do the cause page a little bit further up. Oh. A bit higher, a bit higher. Where it's that's it. View on that one. This page should give you the running total of what the what the cause. Ah, oh, I don't want you're... Not any money yet. Uh, right. Okay. In, uh, if if this if it was a uh, a running cause, this page this part here would show you 
um, how much the cause has raised and how much you've raised for the cause. And it also shows you the top five supporters. Now, that the information that we share on site is the first name and the first initial and the value of the total donations that they've raised. So you might have Roisin L has raised £10, Ben H has raised £9.60 and so forth, the, the top five. If they um, on sign up, if a supporter prefers not to share that information, uh, you can choose to remain anonymous. So you might have a supporter that shows us Anon um, and the value of their donations there. Um, so in, in the normal page there, you would see how much donations you've raised specifically for the club, how much the club has raised overall and where you feature in that top uh, top five. So here's a... Would, sorry, Ben, would they need to click through to that? I think De what Declan's asking is whether that information can be like on their club website or would they need to click through ah, to, I see, I see. Oh. to see that? Okay. Wait, no. Oh, no, no. Um, so different at the moment however that's something that we could always ask we can always take yeah. back to the team and see if there's a way of embedding um obviously the the total raised um onto your club website that's a really good idea that really is <laughs> yes definitely we could definitely look at that for you that's something that i'm sure our dev team could work in definitely okay and then another question from declan is can you have more than one cause you can be admin for more than one cause. Yep, absolutely. Uh, uh, for as many as you like. Um, but you can only raise for one cause at any one time. Um, simply because the, the process of tracking that cookie just can't uh, differentiate uh, reporting the cookie back to different courses. But the, the, the quick answer is yes, you can be admin to many. And in that um, in your um, cause settings area, if you're admin to more than one cause, you get a pop-up asking you which cause you want to um, administer at that point. Uh, but for supporting, you must pick the one. And Chris had a question about the browser extensions. How often are they updated? He currently uses Microsoft Edge and the extension doesn't um, recognise Amazon. So when you say it doesn't recognise Amazon, it doesn't recognise Amazon via easy fundraising. That's, pro that's probably a bug. <laughs> um, um, if you, it, when you've got a browser uh, extension installed and you visit a website like John Lewis, it flashes at you. Yes. Um, but uh, so it doesn't do that for Amazon. And if you search for Amazon in the extension drop down, it, it just won't find it. Uh, you, okay. That would be the case on all browsers, I'm afraid. Um, so Amazon. Uh, so do you mean our donation reminder tool? No, when you rather than go rather than starting from the easy fundraising website to search for a retailer, when you've got the the browser extensions installed, you can click on it and you get a little search box. So you could type John Lewis like you did on your website and it will appear. It's just yes. that if you type Amazon, it doesn't appear. Yeah. Um, yeah, which which seems a bit of an omission because Amazon is going to be one of the more heavily used websites. Yeah. Do you want me to pick up on the road? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, go ahead. I've opened the pop-up um, that we're talking about at the moment, so everyone else can see um, what we're talking about. Hopefully, you can see the the pop-up there. Um, basically, this is a, a plugin for your browser that helps um, remind you that Easy Fundraising is there. Amazon is one of the only retailers that doesn't allow us to use um, the cookies to track um, with that donation reminder tool. Um, so, if you were to if we were to add it into that tool, it wouldn't track your donation. Um, so that one, that one is unfortunately one that you have to go through the main website to to track through Amazon um, because they've got Amazon Smile, which is their own version. And again, if you are a charity, I definitely encourage you to get onto Amazon Smile. We can help you do that as well. Um, so we we're one of the only cashback sites that is still um, working closely with Amazon um, because they see that their donations are, are doing great great work. But it, it does mean that things like this. Um, the donation reminder um, it doesn't include Amazon I don't know if that covers it off road but you're happy to forget. yeah 100% yeah I've said exactly the same thing yeah it's, it's a shame but unfortunately yes yeah, it's, it's it is intentional rather than uh, accidental unfortunately okay Sorry, that's great that thank you doesn't help but um, no <laughs> great 
Cool. Um, while we're talking about the donation reminder, I'll just show people very quickly what we're talking about. So um, Easy Fundraising has a, a plugin that you can use in your um, web browser. Um, and it, it's a handy tool that when you go onto a website, if you'd completely forgotten that you were um, fundraising through Easy Fundraising, and how could you ever come on? Um, we're here to help. Um, <laughs> we, we do all. We do all sometimes forget. Um, but it's a handy reminder if you're on Halford's website um, and you were looking at buying a new inner tube for your bike, or if you were in Decathlon looking at buying some new. Um, archery equipment then it would pop up and it would tell you that there's a donation available for you um, also um, it's here as a feature so you can search through it um, for all of our retailers except for Amazon unfortunately um, and also the really handy bit that I, I quite like is it also adds in um, the donation amounts to your search results so if I search for John Lewis it shows up that there's a donation available. So if I was to search for archery equipment or search for anything that I was shopping with, if I was looking to buy some DIY stuff, um, it would feel, it would feature the um, the donation remind, amounts um, for those different retailers. So if you are looking to get the maximum donation for your club, you can do it quite easily through um, Google, but that's one of the features um, of the donation reminder. That's available to all accounts, so that could be if you're an admin of a club, or that could be for any of your supporters. They can all have that donation reminder, um, and it's just a handy tool that's there to to help you along the way. Um, one last thing I was going to take you through before we just show you a couple of quick things that our really good courses do is just the registration journey. Um, so it's really really simple, um, but for any clubs that aren't currently signed up please, please, please visit easyfundraising.org.uk slash archery dash GB. That helps us to um, see that you're associated to Archery GB um, and then we can give you support, um, give you targeted support um, based on um, working closely with Aaron um, and the rest of the team at Archery GB. Um, so all you need to do is put your um, club name in there. So I'm just going to write test archery. Hope I haven't done that one already. I'm registered now. Um, this is where you can add some information about your club. So I'll just put some, please don't delete. Um, are we a charity or not? And that charity question um, helps us understand if you can take donations or not from Amazon or whether or not we can help support you to use Amazon Smile. <clears throat> and then you can also add an image uh, onto here. Um, and we suggest if you can put a nice a um, bit of information on there about what you're fundraising for and also the image if you can put a really nice image of your club it really helps people to to see where that funding's going um, the most important part is where can we send the payment to you and we can either do that through bank transfer and that's on a quarterly basis if you've raised the minimum amount which is 15 pounds um, or we can send you a check um, if you prefer to use check i'm just going to put check for now just because i've got everything saved in there to do it quickly and that is it. You're good to go. Um, your club's set up then and you'll receive um, contact from Easy Fundraising um, so that they can help you a little bit more. And um, as, as one of the other clubs on here has already got a coaching call booked in to help you with that. This is where it's reminding you about the donation reminder. That's why I've done this. Thank you. And also that free personalised coaching call. We'd recommend all of you to get a free um, coaching call. If you're an existing cause and you signed up and you'd like a coaching call, either drop Aaron a quick message or there is the means to book it through the site and I will show you that at the end as well. Um, drop Aaron or myself, please, please just drop me an email and we'll get you on um, sorted out with one of our coaches. But I won't book that now because um, they'll shout at me. Um, and there we go, you're all set to go, your club's all ready. The next thing to do is obviously that promote my cause and we've talked you through that um, already. I've just realised that I've now, I'm now supporting the archery club. I'm going to have to go back and add my cycling session to there um, but you're ready now to share that information I just noticed we've got a couple of questions in there as well oh perfect um, yeah Ali, Ali was asking whether we could suggest retailers to join easy fundraising is there a way of doing that yeah yeah absolutely um, so we would uh, it, it depends on the retailer so not every retailer is set up for this sort of way of, uh, of working but if they have got a, an affiliate 
relationship, then we can work with them. Um, so all we ask is that the, uh, if you've got a suggestion, let our support team know and they will pass it on to our retail team that Ben mentioned earlier uh, in the webinar. We've got a whole team of, of guys who work really closely with our uh, retailers in London and they, if they can get them on board, they absolutely will. <laughs> <coughs> Cool. And um, I'm just going to pick up uh, just some very quick tips on and um, we capture um, a lot of data from from really successful causes. We make an effort to really um, talk to our, our causes and they've kind of shared a few of the behaviours of um, how they've done it and how they've been really successful. Um, so one of the things that um, people have told us is that they the really good causes regularly promote what they're doing. Um, so on average, we've seen that the good ones are about once a month with a really nice personalized targeted message. If you can do more frequently than that, that's brilliant. But as a minimum, that once a month is um, good to just keep it in the front of people's minds and keep people um, kind of seeing that donations are coming in and that you're getting closer and closer to that um, fundraising target. Um, and that top point is about a target. So if you have, if you're trying to raise funding for new archery bosses or you're wanting to increase the coaching team that you've got and you want to put somebody through a coaching course, use that as part of your fundraising to really sell um, why people should use this. Because when people feel like they're, they're contributing to something, then those two or three pence donations that you might get um, from the really small stuff up to those hundred pound donations that you might get for booking a holiday feel like you're really contributing. So uh, please do. Um, personalize the stuff that's that we've got on site and add your own own flavor to it um, obviously once we get back um, back into a normal situation buying for business um, might be a bit more of a an option for you um, so some of our really successful clubs have been sponsored by certain um, businesses that they work with so that business has said to them that and um, they're happy to put all of their travel or all of their stationery for that year um, through easy fundraising and use um, and have um, the nominated cause as their archery club. Um, if you buy for business, if you're the person who um, has to book all the travel or um, books hotels for people, then again, you can um, make your purchases through and um, receive donations for your club, which is great. Um, and then the final thing is remembering to use easy fundraising. And we do joke about um, forgetting to use it. It is um, it is quite an easy easy thing. Sometimes you just, you've already bought and then you go, oh, I could have got 80 pound donation for the club or I could have um, done that. But there's some really simple things you can do. One is have the donation reminder. Um, so if you have that installed on your computer, please um, make sure you've got that. That's really useful. And the other thing is the app. Um, so if you've got the app on your phone, um, it just makes it a lot easier for making purchases. Um, and most of us, um, I think it's over 50 percent now purchases are made through um, mobile devices. So um, the app's brilliant as well. It's always being updated. Um, we'd, um, we'd recommend that you take all of your other retailer apps off the phone <laughs> and just have a look at Josie Garth and then, then you'll never forget. <laughs> of course, so that's hopefully, um, oh, got the wrong slider. Um, so that's um, that's a little bit of the behaviours that um, we see from really good causes um, and I suppose the things that we'd encourage you to do. Um, I'm, I'm always available and our coaching team are always available to give you that bit of extra one-to-one -one support as well. So please, please do reach out to us if you feel like you want that little bit of extra um, kind of love and attention, I suppose. That's what we want to help you um, do really well with easy fundraising. But um, I'll pass it back to Aaron now to um, any questions. If anyone's got any questions or anything that they've been struggling with um, or any ideas, that idea to have an embedded um, button on your um, website showing the value of the amount is a brilliant one. We'll take that back to our development team. Um, and get them on that very quickly. So back to thank you, you both. Yeah, thank you both. That's great. Um, there's no more questions in the chat, but if anybody does want to raise something, um, then feel free to. Um, oh, as I say that, um, <laughs> Ali's just asked. Yeah, if we could have more more than one admin. Okay, that's a slightly different question. So you can be admin of more than one cause, but you can only currently you can only have one admin uh, uh, on your club. Um, however, that is, um, as I understand it, it's on the roadmap to change, and that they will be introducing multiple admins in the future. So because of watch this space, because it's definitely something that people ask for, is they'd like more than one person to have access to um, those extra settings. But uh, currently, no, only one one admin at the moment. 
Um, it's worth noting as well that um, with the, as Roshi mentioned earlier, everyone has that promote my cause button. So what we do see is that we'll have um, one admin, but we'll have some quite um, quite active um, supporters. So it is worth encouraging people that they can share um, the message that you're fundraising through Easy Fundraising, um, that they are as well um, through all their social media. Um, and WhatsApp is probably the biggest one as well. Yeah. Thanks. Ben, um, ah, coaching Chris. Call. Yeah, Chris is asking about coach, where to book where to book for the coaching call. So here we go. So if you go to if you just go to your straight login page, let me just move the controls for go to meeting. Then promote my cause. Then get started. It is buried at the moment. We are going to change this, make it a lot easier. And then you'll see at the bottom, talk to us. Um, and there's a little hyperlink here. As I said, it is very, very hidden. Um, we are encouraging them to move it a little bit higher up. And if you click on that, you'll be able to book a coaching call for when's um, good for you. So you can see them all on there. Um, and there, there is as short as uh, or as long as you want. Um, usually our coaches take 10 to 15 minutes just to really, and they'll take time to understand what you're fundraising for, um, the retailers that um, are useful to you and the group um, that you work with, uh, and they'll just be able to target very, very quickly the stuff that, um, that you need. So hopefully that's useful, Chris. Yep, thank you. Um, it's probably worth noting that, um, as well, Ben, that um, in terms of there was, um, I believe, 72 clubs signed up before yep. we, before Easy Fundraising and Archery GB um, signed an agreement. Um, and then since that time, um, just remind me how many clubs have signed up again? So as of today, we're at 142. So right. hopefully we okay. can go to 150. That would be amazing. Yeah. yeah. And um, part of the agreement uh, between Easy Fundraising and Archery B GB is that um, Archery GB receives some of that, um, uh, that, well, some part of that donations as well. Donations, the right word? I don't want to, is that right? Yeah, it's, um, that will never come and uh, just explain it to clubs. That never affects the amount that you receive. Um, that is a, I suppose that comes out of the, the funding that Easy Fundraising receive as, um, I suppose, a, the person in the middle um so we provide archery gb with a um a commission um based on how you um how much you're fundraising so the more you do the more archery gb will receive and be able to put back into archery which is great yeah and i just the reason i'm raising that is i just wanted to um let you know that that money i've had agreement that we can just cycle it back to the clubs that have signed up through easy fundraising so we're not going to keep it we are going to give it back to to the clubs. Um, so yeah, thanks. Okay. And we, from an easy fundraising point of view, working through Archery GB helps us to um, be able to give you a few more prizes as well. Um, so you'll see over the next year, we do loads and loads of giveaways, loads of prizes, and we have double donation week. So I think we've just gone through double donation week. We'll be having another one soon. Um, so we'll provide you with a, as much of that. Um, kind of additional extra stuff. We have a lot of fun as well. There's uh, quite a few uh, few bits and pieces we'll send through to you to get involved with. So, well, unless there's any others, I'll pass back to Roisin quickly. Is there anything else you wanted to add, Ro? No, no. Um, um, thanks for having me. It's been really good fun. <laughs> and also for any clubs who um, who are um, starting to fundraise and getting going, um, I'd love to come out and visit some clubs once we've. Um, obviously got through the current situation. I'd love to come out and meet a few of you guys and just see how you're using the easy fundraising. So um, I will try my best to get around the country, but if there are any, especially around um, kind of the Midlands, um, I'd be more than happy to come out and, uh, and see you, um, yeah, once we get through this. Have you, um, have you shot before, Ben? Uh, I have. I have a little oh, bit. There you go. Um, I'm gonna big myself up here big time. Um, no, no, <laughs> I'm not very good at all. But um, Alison's taken us for a few sessions uh, when, uh, yeah, we've been down to Lillishaw. But um, oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Very good. yeah. Well, I'm sure. I'm sure if clubs are able to, I'm sure they'll they'll get a bow and arrow in your hand oh, as yes. well. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
there isn't any more questions on the chat at the moment so unless somebody's got something that they wanted to raise they can either drop it in the chat or unmute themselves and, and uh, ask um, No. 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 Okay. Um, <laughs> well, we have made a recording of this um, session. As I said, we, we'll share it back with you. Uh, a couple of people joined uh, just after we started. So in case you've missed anything um, and um, for those that haven't signed up, um, it's easyfundraising.org.uk forward slash archery hyphen GB. Um, so that's in the chat function as well. I'd um, just like to thank Ben and Rasheen for their time. Um, okay. Hopefully we can do this again uh, in the near future, talk about some uh, uh, how we can um, keep those donations coming. And um, I hope uh, everyone's uh, got, um, got something out of it today. Um, and um, yeah, stay safe, wash your hands, don't go out. <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Hopefully we'll thank be all you. out soon. So, yeah, no. Um, no, thank you very yeah. much for, uh, for the time as well. It's been great for um, me and Ro to um, get a bit more um, yeah, information from you guys and see how you're using it. So thanks very much. Lovely. Thanks, guys. Well, thank you.